Hi, I'm Emily Jacobson, also known as at Ajax. In August of 2020, I posted a 10 second video to TikTok, a single phrase celebrating the greatest rodent of the 21st century. Disney Pixar's Remy the Rat. Over the following months, hundreds of other composers, designers, choreographers, and actors posted their own TikTok contributions to create the first crowdsourced global musical theater phenomenon, Ratatouille the Musical. And tonight, to benefit the Actors Fund, we'll see all these individual ingredients whipped together. In the midst of an unimaginably challenging time for our industry and our country, together with brave arts workers across the world, we will celebrate creators supporting creators. This year alone, the Actors Fund has given over 18 million in emergency grants to arts workers of all disciplines. Your presence here tonight deepens that work. For more information, visit actorsfund.org slash Remy. Over the past few weeks, literally hundreds of artists and technicians have been working around the clock. The TikTok creators have worked in tandem with Broadway professionals to develop their already inspired creations. We couldn't possibly thank everyone right now, and we hope you'll check out our digital playbill designed by Jess Siswick at Siswidge at ratatuzical.com. Tonight is a moment for Broadway to look forward into 2021 and beyond. Together, we imagine a Broadway that celebrates the artistic brilliance and historic work of everyone in our community, especially theater workers who are Black, Indigenous, and people of color. A Broadway that uplifts the voices of women and queer artists. A Broadway where even Remy, our tiny rat with a huge dream, has a seat at the table. French countryside. My name is Remy, and um, we're about to go on a very big journey. A lot's about to happen. Honestly, I'm already exhausted. And that's just showbiz! <laughs> yes, before you have to ask, I am indeed a rat. I may not look like it, but I am. There's a lot of places I could start. The time my dad almost died of rat poisoning and I saved his life. The time the old human lady went tete a tete with my brother and me, Kel Horan. Yeah, the world isn't a great place for rats. So maybe we should start with something a little more positive. Uh, the man who inspired me to go beyond what the world expects of rats. The man who thinks anyone can be great. The best chef in Paris. That means the best in the world. Chef. Artist Gusto! Anyone can cook, anyone can cook. All you have to do is look inside yourself. Anyone can cook. You could even write a book. It could sit right next to mine there on the shelf. Don't let a soul try to tell you how to broil or to braise. A casserole can be droll, but if you want to amaze, try some wine, it's divine. When it's time to deglaze, cause anyone can Anyone can do it. Bon appetit. Watching 
that commercial changed my life. It's a simple little model, but it lit a spark in me. And it led to an adventure at a restaurant in Paris. Steering a cook to boil a pot. Not that I'm trying to spoil the plot. The Freddy, the Freddy the Rat. If you're looking for a one right show, well, this will not be it. My tell is parata, so the billing will be split. Presenting this ensemble at my side, the character shall me along the line. All right, here we have the queen. He's a cook without a clue. Rice fiery collets will help him learn a thing or two. Uh -huh. Chef Skinner is a sneak, an eagle rights critique. Let's get to the I love my goofy brother, but a meal is not a foodie. And when I mention cooking, it just makes my father moody. But all I needed to change the world was a chance. My story's about working together, following your dreams, and letting the little guy talk. Or sing. My dream might be a bit large for a rat, but I think I can do it. I think. No, I know. Chef Rousteau said it himself! All of that? My brother Emil is easily impressed by my olfactory rat genius. So you can smell ingredients, so what? My father is not. He never is. But he's the leader of our rat pack, and he makes us steal food from the humans. Uh, Excusez-moi, it is not stealing if no one wants it. The food you eat is trash. If the humans don't want it, why are we stealing it? I know it's cliche, but if you are what you eat, I only want the good stuff. Remy, food is your fuel. Taste has nothing to do with it. If we're going to be thieves, why don't we steal the gourmet offerings in the kitchen? We are not thieves, and you need to stay out of the kitchen and away from those humans. Remy, sit down. Emil, you too, and listen to Daddy. Humans have made many great things, but they've also destroyed more than I can count on my two parts. Rats don't destroy. We build with what we've got. We protect our families, and where we're sourced, we make treasure out of whatever is right there in front of us. Don't waste your whiskers on dreaming, trying to see life as I do. Taking the smell of it steaming This wonderful dump here in front of you Trash is our treasure It's all that we need Why ask for better when we're comfortably Finding the good in the garbage The gold in the gruel one human's trash is another rat's fuel And you, they, young Remy, are yet to find out That that's what the life of a rat's all about Even I won't deny your ambition Your powerful snout is your drive 
so listen to my proposition Use that sensitive smoother to keep us alive Trash is our nature, it's all that we want Take it from me, I'm your confidant Finding the peers, they resist us among the cesspits I don't understand who could want more than this How free you will feel when you finally find out That that's what the life of a rat's all about oh, Garbage? I got garbage! Uh-huh, look at this Musical instrument Soup ladle, uh-huh Hanger, back scratcher, boomerang Sandal, fly swatter. Ah, mmm, 2020, bad year. Oh, Remy. So keep your nose up and tread lightly. We don't want to be caught unawares. We take what is ours when we want it. It's not stealing if nobody knows you're there. Trash is our birthright, it's all that we are Why be downhearted when we're better off Finding the good in the garbage The light in the rot The decaying garnish is our cherry on top There's no chance of failure There's no room for doubt And that's what the life of a rat <laughs> That's what the life of a rat That's what the life of a rat All about Rent! I mean rat! To do it so yeah, back to the little rat contour who started it all. My dad made me poison control and told me that humans suck, but there's still something about them that makes me smile. They imagine, they create, they make new pads when the old ones are shut down. Like that old lady over there, even when she tries to exterminate us, she does it with such creativity. Ooh, what's that? Whoa. I know exactly what this needs. Saffron. A little saffron would make this. It's in the kitchen! Saffron, saffron, mm. saffron, saffron. It's not good. <laughs> Don't like it. She's gonna wake up. Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Catch that rodent, catch that rodent, pretty, pretty please. Oh, saffron, 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 where's the saffron? <gasps> Aquila saffron, Italian. Gusto says it's excellent. Good thing the old lady has two loves, show tones and fancy spices. <sighs> it's Gusto. Gusto's restaurant lost two of its five stars after a scathing review by France's top food critic, Anton Ego. It was a severe blow to Gusto, and the great chef died shortly afterward. Gusto is dead. Is that a rat? Kiss your friends goodbye. The short one and the fat one. I'll cut off their tails today. And you won't forget what I did to them. And I'll do to you. The old leader tried to kill us. We had to escape. I knew I smelled a rat.
Mew? Dad? Anyone? Oh. Okay. So you know my amazing sense of smell? Really helpful in the kitchen. Really stinks in the sewer. I barely escaped the kiss of death from that dancing woman. And I'm floating in a sea of human wastes. And I haven't eaten in 15 minutes. I'm starving. If you are hungry, go up and look around, Remy. Why we can move? Don't tone police me. I'm in a dark place. I've just lost my entire family and all my friends probably forever. Wait, Gustav? Am I really talking to you? In a way, I am a ghost and, and a storyteller of the box. Don't so too hard about it. Remy, if you focus on what you left behind, you will never be able to see what lies ahead. Now, 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 now. go on, get out of the sewer and look around. Paris? All this time I've been underneath Paris? It's beautiful. Ah, Zimbo! Gusto's? Your restaurant? You led me to your restaurant. <laughs> I looked down and saw a real gourmet kitchen. There were real human chefs down there. There was Linguini, the new waiter who had no idea how to cook, and his scary boss, Chef Skinner, and the savvy cook, Colette. A whole cast of culinary characters. All of this time, I thought I was a rat in a sewer, but I was wrong. I was a rat in Paris! Am I really at Gusto's? Can it actually be? I was looking for a sign and got a 20-foot marquee. I've been dreaming of a life where I'm not just getting by. So now that I'm here, I may be high. I'll boil and broil and fry. Cuisine, with service and presentation like no one's ever seen. This epicure and manicure will set your hearts aflame, and the world will remember my name. Linguini knocked over Skinner's gourmet soup and ruined everything. He tried to fix it, but Linguini was a terrible cook. Go down there and fix it. So I did. Hear the clang of copper pots. Take a whiff of that mirepoix. See the fine sprig of tarragon that makes the big ta-da! This is where I'm meant to be. This is what I must pursue. So I won't let a narrow-minded view determine what vermin can do. No. These rats coming through. Oh, Paris, I hope you're ready for Remy's restaurant. With style and innovation, that's truly your Quran. This road routine novel, you see, it's gonna change the game. And the world will remember my name. I'll follow my guests with the Yes, I'm trying, not writing the rules, merely ratifying From me are the actions to flavor extractions I'll prove what I knew all along I can be special, her act can be special It's by home and ready to proclaim The 
sad thing is, I was counting my chickens before they hatched. Because the next thing I knew, Linguini came over to the stove and caught me sitting on the edge of the copper pot of soup. A rat? Did you touch this soup? You poisoned it! Soup! Where is the soup? And then Skinner came in and caught Linguini at the stove. A major faux pas in the cutthroat world of haute couture. I mean, <clears throat> haute cuisine. What can I say? Fashion is my second passion. Stop! Stop! Stop cooking! You are cooking in my kitchen, Jacques. Who do you think you are? Get out! And just as Skinner was screaming on and on and on and on, another waiter came and took the soup from the kitchen and served it anyways. <laughs> Linguini tried to stop it, but it was too late. Now, secretly, I was thrilled. A real Parisian getting a bite of my tiny rat soup. A few seconds later, Colette ran into the kitchen. The customer wants to speak to the chef. F-I-R-E-D, dead! Customer. It's a critic. A second string critic, but still a critic. Elizabeth Tagliatelle. She loved it. She what? The French critic loved my soup. <laughs> You're still fired. Uh... No. Tagliatelle loved it. Well, how can we claim to represent the name of Gusto if we don't uphold his most cherished belief? What belief is that, Mademoiselle Tatou? Anyone can cook. Oof. You are either very lucky or very unlucky. You will make the soup again, and this time I'll be paying attention. Very close attention. They think you might be a cook. But you know what I think, Linguine? I think you are a sneaky, overreaching little... RAT! <laughs> The skinny boy scooped me up and stared me down. I was praying my novenas and mourning for my life. Why didn't I just have the shark lady kill me with her choreography in the first scene? At least then I'd have a rat funeral. Hey, little buddy. I can't cook, can I? But you can, right? Don't be so modest, you're a rat for Pete's sake. Whatever you did, they liked it. Do you think you could teach me to do it again? Anyone can cook. Isn't that what Gusto said? Just take a look, it's the name of his book Those three words that everyone's read There it is, anyone can cook This I guarantee And though I can't cook yet I can do it with you helping me Come on, little chef, I know it sounds crazy Maybe it is crazy, but I really think you and me We could make a serious team Together here, just, just hide in my hat. Well, I know you might get a little claustrophobic, but I'll take care of you. You'll always be looking over me. Stranger things have happened. There's a miracle somewhere every day. You could make one happen. Come on, little chef, you know what they say. Anyone can cook. If they have the perfect guide But in this case, we also have to find a place For that tiny guy to hide But still, hey! Anyone can cook This I guarantee And though I can't cook yet I take a bet that I can cook With you helping me With you helping me The next morning, we rolled up to the kitchen. Just a normal human man and a rat chef in a chef's hat. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but hey, he had to hire me somewhere. Zoa, like many other critics, had written off Gusteau's as irrelevant since the great chef's death. The soup was a revelation. A spicy yet subtle taste experience. Tagliatelli? Oui. Oui, oui, oui. Against all odds, Gusto's has recaptured our attention. Only time will tell if they deserve it. 
Bonjour, les Guinea. Welcome to hell. Colette oui. will be responsible for teaching you how we do Monsieur. things here. Good luck. And don't duck all arrange it up. Well, uh, listen, I just want you to know how honored I am to be studied. No, yeah. you listen. I just want you to know exactly who you are dealing with. How many uh, women do you well, see in this kitchen? I, uh, huh? Huh? Um, oh, because old cuisine is an antiquated hierarchy built upon rules written by stupid old men. Rules designed to make it impossible for women to enter this world. But still I am here. How did this happen? Excellence, talent, end. I'm good with nerves. You think cooking is a cute job, huh? Like mommy in the kitchen. Well, mommy never had to face the dinner hush when orders come flooding in and every dish is different and none are simple and all of different cooking times and must arrive at the customer table at exactly the same time. Hot and perfect. Every second counts and you cannot be mommy. Do you understand? I take your lead. Come on, dude. You are such a stupid boy. Okay. Listen to me. If you want to make it in the kitchen, yes, you can't just flail your arms around. Right, got it. Mon petit, time to focus. Okay. Stop and listen. We'll do. Because there are some million things you have to know about. Because you know the customer is who we think about. So every decision we make is based on how they want. To feel today, which is what? Good. Right, so I think you know what we have to do. Step one, make sure your station is clipped and clean. We don't want dirty pots or dirty dishes. Clean the counter, wash your surface, make sure the ingredients are all laid out in front of you. <coughs> You know what you're making, which is why you need some recipe. Preheat your oven, set your timer, turn the lights on, make your meal, but make it quickly. So once they get the food, they didn't have to wait an hour. And then clean your station once you're done and prep it for another one. And mince your garlic thinly. Don't complain about anything and don't you dare forget to wash your tiny hands. Did you get that? I think so. C'est bon. I don't know if I can keep up with her little rat chef. Can you help me? Okay, but promise you will do what she says, Capiche? No, 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 this is not part of the deal. I... What are you doing? I... Uh, Stop that! Oh, I'm sorry! I, I, I don't know what I'm doing! Do as I tell you! Stop it! I can't control myself! You are such a pain in the butt! <laughs> Let me do what I have to do. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't explain it. Cause you know the, the customer, customer is who we think about. So every decision we make is based on how they want to feel today. I will not deal with this today, cause cleanliness and manners. People like right don't have a temper. Make it speedy, make it fast, cause good reviews and perfect dinners are all. with her and I wasn't the only one now there was so much that happened from that day with Colette in the kitchen I finally taught Linguini how to cook like a real French chef tug of his hair here tug of his hair there and you got to bang it out at first Linguini didn't trust me but pretty soon we were two peas in a pod or a man and a rat under his hat <laughs> it's like puppetry or, or cooking or mind control or you pick in just a few days our soup became a singular sensation Everyone in Paris was coming to taste my bisque. I was an artist in gay Paris, tray avant-garde, reaching new heights of gastronomical success. One step closer to a restaurant with my rat face on it. Take a load off, little chef. You need a break. And so do my follicles. Ugh, 
This is heaven. A dank alleyway, a brick of cheese. I just wish, trigger warning, vulnerability, that my family was here to share it all with me. Remy! I can't believe it! You're alive! <laughs> oh, we've been looking for you everywhere! <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd be in Paris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew it! It's so good to have you back, son. Man, oh man, I have so much to tell you guys. First of all, I'm a chef. No! First of all, you're not a chef, you're a rat. Oh, oh Remy! If you're a big fancy chef, in a big fancy restaurant, in the middle of the fanciest city in the world, um, I, could you do us a solid? What do you want? Um, scraps from your kitchen? Just the stuff you're throwing out. It, it's not a big ask. Emil, your brother's starting to talk like a human. Who are not as bad as they say. Uh, Remy, look, you're my brother. I love you, but you gotta stop living in the clouds. I just come back down to reality and enjoy the sweet things in life. Five day old pizza slices crusted at the bottom of the trash can. <laughs> Sewer so dank that you can't even see your next step. Ooh, ooh. Uh? The mayo off a soggy candy bar two days after Christmas? Yes! I mean, where do they got that we know? Where are your family? Rats. The greatest. He is the rat's life for us, little Remy. We don't cook food, let alone where we don't go. Rat's life for us, little Remy. We feast where the grime and the fungus and bacteria grow. Grab a menu and follow me. There's a whole buffet that I'd like you to see. So Remy, don't look so gloomy. This is a duty to grow. The rat's way. Life is the way to go. I found an apple core. I found a piece of bread. I found a band aid. Strike what that last guy said. The point is, Remy, whatever you'd like to eat, it's in a pile of junk sitting right at your feet. The rats will last the way to go. Understand as anyone can cook. Chef Gusto said it on TV. <laughs> we have everything we need, just take a look and you will see. Yes, you will see. It's the rat's life for us, little Remy. We don't cook food, let alone in people's homes. It's deep inside, super heavy. The urge to cook is rattling my phone. Grab some bread crust and grab some grass. It can be used as a garnish. I don't need any more sass. Remy, just listen to me and watch the magic grow. The rats will light. Uh, the way to go. you want about rats, but we sure know how to sell a musical number with just the right amount of cheese. I was happy to be back with my bro and dad, but I just couldn't deal with that diet. So I snuck Emil and my few pals back into the restaurant. Look, if a few loaves of bread go missing in some Jarlsberg, who's going to really notice?
Back to the skinny pasta man. Thanks to our new partnership, Linguina became the new hot chef in all of Paris. Yeah! Everyone was talking about Linguini's, <coughs> my bisque, and Linguini's, <coughs> my sweet bread, and Linguini's, <coughs> my boilies. Hey, look, Colette would make a suggestion, and Linguini, well, I would have other thoughts. Anyway, it seemed like Colette was feeling some chemistry that wasn't exactly culinary. Linguini, I didn't have to help you. If I only looked out for myself, I could have let you fail, but I wanted you to succeed. I liked you. I like you. Look, I'm no good with words. I'm no good with food either, at least not without your help. I hate false modesty. It's just another way to lie. You have talent. No, but I don't. Really? It's... it's not me! What do you mean? Blah, 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 Linguini told Colette about me, the rat in the hat. Blah, 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 the humans fell in love, big shocker there, blah, blah. And just when I started to realize Linguini didn't exactly seem like he needed me anymore, a major bombshell broke in the press. Linguini was Gusto's bebe d'amor. <laughs> His secret love child. Gusto, my guy! The real skinny is some intrepid food reporter was curious about the talent behind this new bisque taking Paris by storm. So she tracked down Linguini's family in Nantes and discovered... You get it. Buongiorno, I'm Bethany Joanna Germanotta reporting from I'm Italian Internazionale. Did your old lady ever tell you about her secret affair? Uh, my mother died when I was a child. Uh, oh. Mr. Linguini, this is Monsieur 24601 reporting from Fresh Baguette Monthly. For once and for all, is there any truth to the rumor that you're knocking out Chef Skinner and taking over as Chief Chef at Gusto's? What? What? Collusion? Oh. Turns out it was true. Gusto gave his restaurant to his next of kin in his will. So, now that Linguini's true parentage had been revealed, there was a new head chef in town, and Skinner was can both surprise Antonigo is dining in your restaurant aujourd'hui, which means today. Ten years ago, he had said that your restaurant was a tourist trap meant for dogs with no tongues. How are you going to change his mind? Oh, oh, uh, um, uh. Linguini, je m'appelle la grande Strange. Tell me now. What is your... Secret. Oh, my paprika. Is it my time to shine in the spotlight? I didn't prepare a speech. Uh, uh. Oh. Colette, she taught me everything I know. Did I plan on yanking his hair? No. Did I mean to yank his hair? Maybe. Did I yank his hair? Yes. And then I yank it again? Yes. And yank it until he left the press conference so I can give him a piece of my mind? You bet I did. Let's hear my let me tell you a story. Enough! Hey, your opinion isn't the only one that matters here. Colette knows how to cook too, you know. You take a break, little chef, okay? I'm not your little puppet, and you're not my puppet controlling guy. Okay, you need to cool off. And get your mind right, little chef. Ego is coming, and I need to focus. The rat is the cook. Looks like it's the judgment day. The boy has so much to explain. Conspiring with a road and hate. A new immersion that uh, Well, it seems as though this parasite is feeding people's appetite. He's cooking! And I testify. I knew I smelled the rat. Oh, Linguini, I've got you now. You may have got your restaurant, but soon it's going down. Oh, he's this 
deceived me. Well, say la vie and give him that. But my intuition's never wrong. I knew I smelled the rat. Oh, this is great, son. An inside job. Ho, oh, oh. ho. It's so shiny in here. Emil, I see the appeal. How many friends did you bring? Yeah, I'm sorry about all the rats, Remy. You know, I'm, I, it's okay. I tried to limit them. I've been selfish. You guys hungry? Dinner's on me. Just share. Little share. Hey, little share. Listen, I feel really terrible about what I said earlier, and I wanted to, you know, apologize. Listen, I just don't want to disappoint anybody because I've never disappointed anybody before because no, nobody's ever expected anything of me before and the only reason they do now is, well, because of you. What? Are you stealing food? How could you? I thought you were my friend! I trusted you! Get out! And don't come back or I'll treat you the way restaurants are supposed to treat pests! Oh, Linguini, you ruled the day. I could have been a millionaire, but you got in the way. When you that saw the hard was working all the way with your hand. You have no talent of your own. I knew I smelled the rat. Dance break! Great, I'll prove them wrong. Look out, the queenie skin of where it's at. I knew I smelled it. 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 Oh, my intuition's never wrong. I knew I smelled the rat. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to the health inspector. Not so fast. <sighs> Emil and his gang tied up Skinner and threw him into the freezer. I returned to the kitchen to find Linguini in a mess on the ground. I guess he told everyone about me and the rest of the chefs quitting horror, which is rude. <laughs> but no time to waste. Anton Ego is in the restaurant today. My whole artistic and culinary career has led to this moment. If the gatekeeper of the critical establishment hates it, je suis fini. Ouais, mais... We're not cooks, but we're family. Tell us what to do, and we'll get it done. All right, team three will be... All right, team three will be handling the fish. Team four, roasted items. Team five, grill. Team six, sauces. Get to your stations. Let's go, 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 go! Are we ready to go, little chef? Allons-y, allons-y. Ready as we'll ever be. <sighs> What I'm craving? Perspective. Does the chef know what that is? Perspective? And the glass of red vintage? Tell him he's got just one good shot to hit me with his best. Yes, it's a test. I'll do the rest. Don't be a pest. Ratatouille. It's served to peasants and the like. Ratatouille, do I dare humor it with a bite? When I review food abroad, they look at me with dread. No need to seal the coffin, for this restaurant is dead. Ratatouille, I never stuttered or misspoke. Ratatouille, is this some kind of twisted joke? I asked him for his best. Is this some sort of test? The chef misunderstood. Oh, this ratatouille. It's good.
Mama, I've fallen from up on my bike Something smells good Is it that dish that I like? Mama, I love you and you love me too How do I know? You tell me with your phone Young man, I must give my compliments to the chef Linguini told him he had to wait Hours passed and then Trembling in their boots Linguini and Colette brought Ego in to meet Me Thank you for the meal. And when the story was done, he thanked us for his meal. And left without a word. The bitter truth we critics must face is that the average piece of junk is probably more meaningful than our criticism designates it so. But the world can often be unkind to new talent, new creations. The new needs friends. Last night, I experienced something new, an extraordinary meal from a singularly unexpected source. I now know not anyone can cook, but a great cook can come from anywhere. It is difficult to imagine more humble origins than the genius who is now cooking at Gusto's. Who is, in this critic's opinion, no less than the finest chef in France? It was a great night. The happiest of my life. But the only thing predictable about life is its unpredictability. Skinner told a health inspector and then the world about my identity. The food didn't matter. Once it got up, there were rats in the kitchen. The restaurant was closed, and Ego lost his job and his credibility. But don't feel too bad for him. He's doing very well as a new business investor in, uh... My new restaurant! <laughs> I mean, our new restaurant! <laughs> no, that's life for you, little Remy. You've shown us all that a rat's not just a rat. It's true for you, little Remy, you've shown us All oh, there's so much more than that Grab a menu and follow me There's a whole new restaurant I want you to see One last thing. But no one can compare you on Of the customers every time. Cash is our treasure, it's, it's all that we need. But you ask for better set up comfortably. Finding the good in the garbage, the gold in the gruel. Now one person's trash is another rat's fuel. But you know the customer is who we think about. So every decision we make is based on how they want to feel today. Wish 
is what? Good. Right. So I think you know what we have to do. Anyone can come. Anyone can come. If they come. have the perfect guide. Oh. And though I couldn't cook yet, I took a bed. Now I, I can cook. cook. With oh, you by you my side. Your facade was working underneath your head. Of your own. I knew I smelled a rat. Anyone can cook, anyone can cook. All you gotta do is look inside yourself. Anyone can cook, you could even write a book. It could sit right next to mine there on that shelf. If you believe in yourself, there's not a thing you can't do. Put some stock in your future and then simmer that stew. Look up there, in the pit, try some wine, it's delight. Put your game to the flame because anyone can have some fun that didn't like this musical. I loved it! <laughs> Is